A dance with no Snow White. No one could remember a more glorious day. The sun was shining, the sky was blue, and the prince was holding a glorious royal ball for his true love Snow White. Nearly everyone in the land had come to join in the fun, including seven rather short men with who loved Snow White very much. They had never been to a royal ball before. For a great banquet, the guests entered the ballroom. Gosh, Bashful said, hiding behind Doc, amazed by the marble and chandeliers. As the orchestra began to play, the prince took Snow White in his arms, and the happy couple waltzed across the dance floor. The door sighed. They could not take their eyes off Snow White. She looked so pretty. Wouldn't it be wonderful to dance with Snow White, Happy asked. That gave Doc an idea. He led the other dwarfs into the cloakroom and borrowed a few things. Sneezy, stand here. Bashful, you stand on his shoulders. Dopey, do you think you can make it to the top? When Dopey was balanced on Bashful's shoulders, Doc wrapped a cloak around the tower of dwarfs and buttoned it around Dopey's neck. Wobbling the dwarfs, the dwarf prince tottered toward the dance floor. May we have this dance? Bashful asked Snow White. Of course. Snow White giggled when she saw the familiar faces peeking up at her from beneath the fabric. As the sun began, Snow White and the dwarf prince lurched and swayed precariously into the middle of the room. Yikes, Sneezy squeaked. This cloak is tickling my nose. Above them all, Dopey was having the time of his life, when suddenly the dwarves heard a sound that made their blood go cold. Ah! 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 Hang on, men, Doc shouted. Shoo! The cloak below. The dwarf prince was knocked off balance. I've got you, the prince caught the dwarves just before they all came toppling down. Then he turned to Snow White and held out his hand. May I step in? He asked. Love you. Night.